right, so it's day 35 of going through my journal. And the quote for today is, sometimes me think, what is friend? And then me say friend to someone to share with the last cookie with. And then it says, write a list of a few people you'd like to share your last cookie with. And so if you're following along, um, go ahead and pause the video and then write out your response to this question. Um, otherwise, I'll be back on in a few seconds to share mine. Okay, so I'm actually a little nervous to see what I said on this one because I've kind of mentioned before, I don't really have a whole lot of relationships with people, so we'll see what I said. Okay, so write a list of a few people you would share your last cookie with. So I said, if I'm being honest, I don't think there's really any person that I'd want to share my last cookie with. There are a couple of people I would reluctantly share it with because I like them and I would probably share it with almost anyone who asked just because it would be a nice thing to do, but I can't say that I would actually want to. <laughs> Ooh. I said, however, there have been several times that I've been happy to share what I was eating with my cats, probably even dogs, probably even stray random animals. I'm rarely around children, but I feel like I might be more open to sharing with kids, especially if they were my own, or I don't know, maybe if there was a person who was hungry or sad and seemed like they needed a cookie, that would probably make me feel good to share. People have told me before that I'm kind, but I don't really see it. I don't think I'm super selfish person, especially not outwardly, but I'd say I'm far from selfless. I think maybe because I don't ask or expect anything from people, I don't think to give or share with others that much. Okay, <laughs> so let me think about what I wrote here. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just not around people who, I mean, maybe at this time, like this may have been a time that I would just felt like completely alone and I didn't have enough like acquaintances that I felt close enough to. Like now I would like definitely share with my roommate. Like we share all the time and we'll even like make a comment. Like he'll share something with me and he's like, you know, I like you because I wanted to eat this, but I'm sharing it with you, you know, and he or he'll give me the option and I'll know that it's like the last bite that he would want. And so I'll be like, no, it's okay. Um, so now I would say like, he's a person, um, but for most, yeah, I mean, I'm just not close enough with most people to like openly want to share. But like I said, if it's somebody that looks like they could use something and would appreciate it, I don't know. And I think part of it maybe too was being raised by a parent who was very selfish and didn't appreciate like anything that anyone had done for them in their lives. Like I'm, I can see both sides. I've seen good people and I've seen people who are really selfish. And so I guess if it's someone who I think would appreciate it and you know, I would be willing to share with them. But since I don't know that many people that closely, like, um, I don't know how to tell if someone is like someone who's just selfish and would take and take and take and take um, and not care whether I shared it with them versus, you know, someone who would actually appreciate what I would give them. And I mean, thinking back, I think I was a little harsh here. There are a couple of people I would reluctantly share it with. If I'm thinking back through like some of my past friends, I did know some good people in the past. And so, like I said, whenever I do these, I just kind of like 
to keep myself from stalling and overthinking it. I just like write whatever comes out. But I mean, there was several people who were very kind to me, like when I was in school or when I worked at Disney um, or at other jobs that I've worked at that, you know, they were willing to help me out and share things with me. And so, yeah, I'd definitely be willing to reciprocate it. I think it just depends on the person. If it's the type of person that I think is also a kind person and not that I would share things with the expectation of reciprocation, but like, I guess it's just more like if I know that that's a person that's not going to constantly just keep asking to take, 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 take from me without ever giving anything back. You know, there's, I don't like people that share things with the expectation that they're going to get something in return, but then, um, I also don't. You know, I'm more willing to share with someone that isn't going to just take advantage of me and then not give anything back, I guess, if that makes sense. But yeah, I don't know, I guess. Um, I don't know, it's kind of weird because I said, you know, when I see, when I see animals, I am willing to, like, give to them, and then, yeah, even though I don't, like, particularly like children, I mean, I don't dislike them, but I don't necessarily want children on my own or to be around children all the time, but, you know, if a kid comes and asks you for, you know, a cookie or something, like, I feel like most people would, if it's okay with their parents, would be, would give their food to a child I don't I don't know if that's just an inherent thing um because I guess maybe I see most children as more or less innocent and so they they wouldn't like just be you know kids just say what they want and not with like malicious intent for anything not that someone asking for a cookie would be malicious but you know just in general asking for things in general but I don't know, that's, <laughs> that's my response for this. So I don't know if, if that makes me selfish um, or just kind of a loser because I don't have like that many people close in my life um, to share things with. But like I said, I'm not upset about that. Like I feel like I've built my life that way because I get too much stress and anxiety the more people I have in my life. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's what I have for today. I'll be back on tomorrow with day 36.